What's up guys, this is Zonafan here with a quick overview of how I made my Cal Kestis costume, which I wore at this year's Star Wars Celebration. I also made a separate video recapping the amazing time I had there, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Today, I'll be going over everything I used to bring this costume to life. First up, we have the poncho. I got this off of Amazon and made some modifications to it, including taking out the drawstring, then painting over the little holes, opening up the right arm so I can move around. For that, I used this bluish gray faux leather with some two inch elastic, and I loved how it turned out. Finally, I added this stripe section on the left shoulder using blue satin and brown cotton edge band, as well as some more elastic. Next, we have this bib, which goes along my shoulders, back, and chest. For this piece, I used that same bluish gray faux leather for the base, tan leather for the primary, then on the back we have this sand leather for some added detail. Finally, I used sandpaper to rough up the leather and give it a more authentic look and feel. The final piece of the poncho is this strap, which was pretty difficult considering the amount of detail the real version has. So instead, I used brown leather for these two straps, then sand leather for the strap which goes underneath my right arm. As for the detail, I primarily used metal beads from this necklace, which was sewn on, and tied them down with some wire. And finally, I once again weathered the straps using my trusty sandpaper. Thankfully, most of the materials I used during this project were repurposed from things I already had, which made this whole process a lot easier. While the costume was starting to come together, I still had some signature accessories that I needed to recreate. So for Cal's wrist comm, I used the Sphero Force Band. Then for his fingerless gloves, I used these faux leather driving gloves I got from Amazon. And since I was in Disneyland at the time, I picked up Cal's Legacy lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge. And I was honestly super hyped when I first got this, but after having it for a few months, I realized that it's super heavy and not exactly the best for spinning. And you definitely can't be carrying around that thing without a belt clip. Anyways, I think it's finally time to put this thing together. The most basic part of this costume was obviously the base. I just wore a black t-shirt with a black pair of pants from BR Standard and this carbon fiber looking belt from Nike. Then for the main piece of this costume, which is the poncho. I made sure to put the hood up because this makes it a lot easier to put on the bib, which is the part of this costume that I think best resembles Cal's in-game look. And to complete the poncho, we got the strap contraption. This piece turned out to be quite the hassle because it was constantly flopping around. And after a while, I also did get kind of sweaty under all those layers. Next, I put on the fingerless gloves and after putting on the wrist comm, I finally picked up Cal's lightsaber. And yeah, I guess I'm a Jedi now. For my first time designing a costume, I had a blast, but this definitely wouldn't have come together quite as well without some help from my mom, who sewed most of this costume in a single afternoon. So I wanna give a huge shout out to my mom. We tried to stay true to our inspiration, but taking some creative liberties turned out to be my favorite part because I got to add my own personal touch to the design. Let me know what you think of this costume in the comments, and if you like Star Wars and want to see more from my channel, be sure to subscribe and check out my other socials, which are linked down below. And until then, this is Zonafan, signing off.